everybody, welcome to Amy Liu Presents. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the topic of whitewashing. There is a very recent case of whitewashing with the recent casting of Zach McGowan in the movie Ni Hao or Ni Hao. And he was casted as the lead character of Ben Kanaheli. He's actually a native Hawaiian Pacific Islander. And a lot of people are saying that that's the um, whitewashing of an ethnic character. But very recently, there's also a casting of Michelle Yeoh for the Starfleet captain of Star Trek Discovery for a CBS series. Here to parse this out with me and break it all down is cosplayer, writer, and blogger, Laura Sericle. Hi, Laura. Hi. I'm so happy to have her with me. She's a Trekkie. She's been a Trekkie all of her life. She's super knowledgeable about all this. And actually, Michelle Yeoh is a part of a very, very diverse cast with Sonequa Martin-Green as the lead officer. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the series and also uh, Michelle Yeoh's character? Um, so Star Trek Discovery, um, which is going to be on CBS All Access um, in the fall, is um, about... It's set 10 years before um, Star Trek, the original series, which Kirk and, and Spock had a five-year mission. Um, and the captain, Philippa Georgiou, which is um, which is Michelle Yeoh's character, is the captain of the Shenzhou, which is a ship that um, Shanika Martin-Green is the first officer of. Um, and so it's not the discovery that um, Michelle Yeoh is the captain of. Um, it's going to be transitioning Shaniqua uh, Martin Green's character, uh, Michael Burnham, into the Discovery, which is shipped by Jason Isaac's um, Captain Lorca. So she is kind of like preparing her. She's like her, um, her her first captain. Yeah, that's awesome. I loved Shaniqua Martin Green from The Walking Dead. A lot of people are actually saying that the criticism is that the show is forced diversity, too many women too many, too much diversity. What are your thoughts on all this? Um, you know, Star Trek is about the future, and um, Gene Roddenberry, you know, he his whole vision was that the future is going to be diverse. It's going to, there's aliens, there's humans, there's all types of aliens, all types of humans, and our future is diverse. If you look at how, you know, the world is now, it's, it's so diverse. So it's great having, you know, just, a diverse group of people, especially women. Yeah, I love that. I love that diverse cast. And anything that has to do with diversity is just great. Um, to segue a little bit, regarding Michelle's character, she actually kept her Chinese Malaysian accent, which is drawing some criticism too. But on her Facebook, she said, quote, it was a conscious effort and important. What are your thoughts on this? Um, it's extremely important for them to keep their natural accent. Like, look at Shekhov from the original series. He kept his Russian accent. Um, the character had a Russian accent. And, you know, it, it just shows, it normalizes everything. Like, Michelle Yeoh has an accent naturally. And it just normalizes that this is normal. This is how people talk. And that we're not just going to be talking with a British accent or an American or Southern accent. You know, we are... We're a diverse group of people, like the way that Michelle Yeoh speaks is normal. It, it normalizes it, and then it allows people to accept it, too. Yeah, absolutely. I really, I love Michelle Yeoh ever since Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon, even, maybe even before. And <laughs> <laughs> speaking of uh, Asian American women roles... Uh, I was actually talking to a former actor, and he was saying that his ex-girlfriend was uh, or is a actress in Hollywood, and just how limited the roles are, and how virtually almost every role that she got was super stereotypical, and like maid or prostitute, and that just made me feel like, wow, that's so discouraging, and um, that there's no hope, and... But just seeing that Michelle Yeoh was casted in this lead role and a strong female character actually is a very positive thing. And I was actually really happy about this. What were your first thoughts and reactions? 
Um, well, in the Star Trek realm, you know, the Asian characters, Asian men and Asian women, they were always in the background. Um, Sulu was really the first Asian that was a lieutenant and an officer uh, who, who was able to move up, but we never really got to see it further. Um, and also, you know, like everyone else that has been on this series, they were always either ensigns or just minor characters or the background characters. Um, when I was watching uh, Next Generation growing up, I really had two choices to dress up as, like Nurse Ogawa, who was a nurse, and she was only like in a few episodes and in the background taking care of, you know, um, holding up the Dr. Crusher, a white woman. And, um, and then there's Keiko O'Brien, who's a wife, of an officer and she's a botanist and so there's only so much of a botanist you could cosplay as but <laughs> I could look up to you um but and then you know the next the next uh, Voyager and all the, and the rest of it you know they had Harry Kim who was an ensign and he just remained that for the last seven years an ensign and uh, Hoshi she she was a minor character who you know she's a linguist and lieutenant but you know they didn't really rise her up above as well and so, you know, we were always minor characters or not even, like, commanding officers who would be in charge of things. And so having Michelle Yeoh as a captain, it kind of shows that we can rise above, our characters can be more than just, like, a side character or a wife and could actually lead a ship. And yes, you know, everyone keeps telling me, like, oh, you know, Sulu became a captain eventually, but you know what, Michelle Yeoh's a female a woman, you know, it just shows a strong Asian character, Asian female character, and it's nice to see that. Yeah, and that there that things are changing, right? Yeah, it's it's great to see it. We're just we're becoming more than what what box they put us in. You know, we Asian Asian American females in in, in media um, have always been limited to be the side character, to be the best friend to be the, um, you know, the, the stereotype prostitutes from Asia and stuff. And, you know, we're placed in this box that we never get to get out of. And and seeing Michelle Yeoh get out of that box and command, taking command of a ship, it kind of shows that, you know, we are leaders too. Yeah, I think that's amazing. So Star Trek Discovery actually launches sometime this fall. We're excited, and let's just see how the series goes. Thank you so much, Laura, for joining us today. We had a great time. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching Amy Lou Presents. We hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you like what you see, and I'm on iTunes now. You could see this on video or audio in podcast form. Just search Amy Lou Presents or Amy Lou Media. Thank you so much, and hope you have a great day.